Anthony Higginbottom. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Iran has long walked the knife edge of what is and isn't acceptable under the JCPOA, exposing the agreement's significant flaws in the process, and it is clear that this isn't deterring its actions either in the region or with respect to dual nationals. Now, I recognise the government's reluctance to walk away from the agreement without something else being in place, but we cannot reward bad behaviour or this hostage diplomacy. Can I therefore urge the Minister to give full consideration to what might be the step at which we have to walk away and to reconsider the arms embargo? Minister. I thank my honourable friend for uh, his question. As the Foreign Secretary has made clear, the JCPOA is not perfect. But whilst it continues to offer some benefits in constraining and verifying Iran's nuclear programme, and in the absence of something better, we will continue to support it. It would be inappropriate for me to uh, speculate about what the future actions of this government might take in uh, relation to Iran. Thank you. 